Beep, beep. What is up, ninjas? My name is Sam World, and welcome. Today, we're going to be looking at the synth sounds of Dom Dalla's Pump the Brakes. Now, of course, I heard this song, and for some reason, my mustache decided to grow out, and my beard sort of fell, so now I'm a Dalla man. But we're going to be looking at the sounds, guys, from the bass, the lead, the arp on the bridge, as well as some automations that occur with the lead, as well as the bass, to keep things very interesting in this song. With that being said, if you're in the market for some tech house sounds for stream or silent, consider checking out evilsounds.com, the Deceiver, and Dirty Bird series are the gonna be the um, tech house sound sets and they've done really well guys if you like them best way to support the channel with that being said let's get started so let's look at the first thing which is gonna be the lead which has a really nice uh ravey sound and i think it makes the track honestly when you first hear the bass it's great but once you hear this it's like it's party time, baby. Take out the, the fucking razor and shave the beard off. Anyways, guys, so we're going to kind of go here and just remake this because it, it is a very simple lead, but there's a couple of things that you want to kind of do in order to get a very similar one. Okay, the first thing is going to be, of course, that we're going to have an EQ and some sidechain on it. But now what we're going to do is, is we're going to create the saw lead. We're going to put this one down in octave. From there, we're going to turn mono legato on with a bit of glide there. And the glide is going to be mainly for the second part here. So, dun, dun. so that's going to be sort of like a glide that occurs. Like, as you can see there. From there, you don't have to go down as low as I did. I feel like he didn't, but there is a bit of a glide that occurs. Now, once you hear the song in good speakers, I want to say you do hear a bit of a layer of an upper saw, not as loud. It's going to be there to layer with the sound, of course, but also beef up the sound. Now, this is where it gets a little complicated to make this lead because a lot of times you just want to run your sauce like this. But what he does, and it gives the sound a very nasty sort of vibe, is we'll run like a low pass with a bit of a resonance. And you can see the difference that it makes. Okay, from there, we're going to apply a bit of white noise to kind of get that. And you can kind of see how that goes from very clean to a little more interesting to hear. From there, let's control this level. Around there. From there, we can now apply distortion to make it even dirtier. Then we're going to add reverb. Now, the cool thing with the serum reverb is there is a spin depth here that you can see, and this kind of adds a bit of a vibrato effect to the reverb. You can see how it's like, now it's a little messy. So we can kind of set the spin here, the rate of it, maybe kind of slow to get a vibrato on it, and then from there, the spin depth. Okay, from there, we're going to be done there. You just got to EQ the sound. Get rid of some of the lows. Uh, LFO tool to get the sidechain. Okay, and then from there, we can kind of fine-tune a little more. Maybe the noise is a little too loud. And then we can kind of lower the cutoff a bit more. Okay, and that's kind of the sound. The other way that I thought it might have been created was with a band pass because you can get very, very precise sort of sounds like so. And then from there, if you find it's a little thin, you can always try to boost around certain spots uh, to get it beefy. But that's going to be the main lead, the rave lead, and it sounds great. And of course, then it plays an octave higher. Okay, and that's gonna be it. From there, the unison, you can go more if you want. It just gives us a little more of a ravey sound and whatnot. And, but that's gonna be the lead, guys. Now, let's move on to the bass, which is probably the most important part of the song, to be honest, but um, we're gonna kind of go with it. Now, the bass itself is actually pretty simple. Um, and personally, me, usually when I'm creating these kind of sounds, I do like to go more for the Juno waveform. We'll go with the saw, just because it has a warmer sort of vibe i do put the arm face down a lot of the times just so that we get a constant sort of face to it and what that means is the saw always starts at the same position so the tones don't change too much however if you like that analog vibe where like the face isn't really retrigged and it's moving around all over the place and you can kind of have that up from there we're going to utilize a filter envelope one to shape that uh shape the whole sound
But the decay we control sort of like the pluckiness, so. We are going to put Mono Legato on. And we get the sound of sorts. And you can open it up more here. Just control that. A uh, very simple sound. But where it gets very interesting is, again, this is one thing I always like to tell people is what's the difference between uh, intermediate to an advanced producer and whatnot. And that is that the advanced producers pay a lot of effort into essentially evolving the sound. So one of the things you'll hear throughout the song with this bass is the fact that when we go into the break, this is where it really does shine, is the fact that we are automating a couple of things. One, sustain and decay. To go really, yeah, and as it progresses, it sort of opens up to where it sounds like decay and release come up. And then a bit of reverb. And that sort of helps create this really massive break. Even though it's very simple, it's complex in its own form as the decay and the release come up. From there, of course, we have the EQ8, which makes even the top part of the bass just sound even more massive. Dun. You get the idea. Now, a couple of tips if you want to execute this person and you're like, I don't want to automate so many knobs then, is to run one of your macros on the left side here and put it on the stuff that you want to automate. So obviously we automated a couple of stuff. So the starting position of the bass will probably be around here. And we'll put it over here. Excuse me, for some reason my allergies are kicking in right now with the dust. Okay, we'll put it there and then we can open obviously the cutoff up, maybe somewhat. We can lower the sustain down from there. And we can start to maybe like add another macro for obviously the release because we don't want that to come up until a specific spot. And that's how we kind of create these really nice things. And you can have this macro there too. Another way is to run the instrument rack from Ableton. And that also helps in creating these sort of moments in the song. And of course, just... Okay, now the other thing I do want to talk about is on the drop. Obviously, the, the, the cool thing about the bass sound in this track is the fact that you can hear the top melody really well, no matter when, if it's playing with the kick. So no ways to do this. My favorite way is to utilize LFO tool because we can set a split. And we're going to open this up a little more. But what the split will do is that anything below this frequency is going to get sidechain while the top won't. So you can kind of see how it allows that top part of the bass to come through even more, making it a little more like pleasing. And finally, the last thing I want to talk about in this song, the synth sound that really stands out as well, is in the bridge of the song. The bridge is meant to kind of bridge the gap between the break and the drop. So if you don't want to go straight into your break, you think it sounds a little too rushed, you use a bridge like Dom Dalla has in order to do something. But it's a great opportunity to come in with like ARP sounds and whatnot. Now, the way we're going to make this ARP sound, um, is actually pretty simple. We're just gonna go with the saw again. Just the Juno sounds better, and then we're gonna have this really nice sort of art melody. Now the art here, what we're gonna do is just kind of get a sustained decay going, uh, and then we're gonna shape it obviously here, but not too much. And as it progresses, we can open it up, and we can kind of bring the sustain on as well. Now the sound is going to be wide, so usually what I tell people is if you hear wide, usually there's going to be a unison of two, lower detunement. So now we get it on the width. Okay, and then from there the effects are going to make it what it is. I'll put some reverb. And then from there delay, you can just go with what you want.
You can maintain that sustain up and... But you can see how the sound evolves if you wanted to and it just sounds really kind of pleasing. You don't have to open it up all the way. And another cool things you can do again, not dumb dollarish, but you can add release as well. So you get this very nice sort of like um, lush to it. And you can see how it just lingers. Again, these are cool like little tricks I've been wanting to make videos for because this stuff, when you do it in a song, is what makes the song just feel alive rather than very robotic and static-y. But other than that, guys, those are going to be my favorite sounds from this track and are going to be some of the main sounds in the track. I mean, obviously, there's other sounds like the car noises and the alarms, which I feel like that's very self-explanatory. But someone wanted me to make a video on the bass of this song. That's how you do it. Very simple. Um, and as you saw the modulation that occurs over here um, on the break, the lead and whatnot. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that this shines some light on this stuff. And again, I'm, I'm sure you guys can make these sounds yourself and whatnot. But if you want to support the channel, check out the sound mix. I got to stop selling those, man. I feel a little like, oh, selfless promotion here. But you guys take care. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys next time for another video. Take care. Peace out. Dollar Mustache out.